Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm very excited to be filming my first ever monthly favourites and I've got quite a lot of stuff so I'm not going to ramble so let's just get straight into it. So surprising for me I've only got two lip products which is very strange for me because I am addicted to lipsticks. I am a what you would call a collector of the lipstick. Um, <laughs> I love having like a shade of every lipstick and possibly even the same shade like three times but there is a marginal difference between each shade so well that's what I tell myself so my first lips product I hit product the first lip why can't I speak the first lip product I have is my MAC lipstick in the colour media that's it it's a nice plummy color i'll do a wee swatchy swatch on the back of my hand oh no that's flipping you off <laughs> it's this plummy color right here perfect for autumn i am wearing this on my lips right now just around the outsides of my lips and then my next actually coincidentally the next lipstick i have i have in the middle but i love wearing this color um to some people it can be very daring so if you're wanting something a little less dark I would suggest getting something like Rebel from MAC or even um, Dark Side. Dark Side's a really nice uh, like a burgundy purpley colour. Like I said in the middle of my lips I have a lighter shade and that's just to give myself a little bit of fishy lip going on. I'm loving the look, I'm loving the look. But um, this is my, I was about to say white so. <laughs> This is my lipstick in Glamour 101 and this is from Lime Crime and this just looks like this and it's a dark sort of vampy red colour and I'll do a swatch and it just looks like that so it's um, just a darker red sort of colour I love pairing these two together I have worn these two as a combo this will be like the third time um, these are my die hard Filming. Like I was saying, these I have worn twice now, no, third, fourth time now wearing this combo, and oh my god, this is my die hard um, autumn combo. So if you don't have these lipsticks, pick them up or just buy one of each, I don't know. But honestly, oh my god, if you have these lipsticks, pair them together, it will change your life. My final favourite lipstick of the month is my YSL Lipstick in Rouge Velat number 13. This doesn't actually have a colour on it. I know in America you guys have like colour names for them but this one's just a number. Um, I got this at Duty Free on the way to Australia and this is oh my most value possession. Like I can't even describe the love I have for this lipstick. This is just the most beautiful, beautiful beautiful lipstick I have it's so creamy so just oh my god this is going to be getting somewhere in springtime I absolutely love this lipstick um these wear exceptionally well on my lips I get quite dry lips just on the inside on my bottom lip for some reason on the top lip I'm fine but the bottom lip seems to just get all nasty so um I love wearing this lipstick. It's so creamy, so moisturising. Oh, I can wear it for ages and it goes forever. But just the packaging is just gorgeous and they're so heavy and it just it just makes me feel like it's expensive, which it was. I'll go on to face stuff. So um first thing is quite a very old thing. Um some people will be like, I'm a real girl, have you not tried that? But um, I have had this for ages. This is probably like my fourth bottle of this, but it's the Revlon Photo Ready. Um, I went through a phase watching YouTube, everybody trying to do foundations, and I was like, I want to jump on that bandwagon. So I was going through a phase of trying all new foundations, trying to find my holy grail, still searching, but I think I found it. Um, but yeah I came back to this uh, in a video that's coming up soon and I also have been wearing it lately and I've noticed in pictures that my skin looks amazing when I use this. I am using this today. My skin matches perfectly when I wear this and 
I just it just gives the most prettiest finish it doesn't have any flashback because like I said it is made for um, photos I'm in the color 005 natural beige I just can't get enough next thing that I kind of like pairing with this is my Australis fresh and flawless now you would probably your mum's got this your cats probably got this your dogs tried it but um, don't know if that's the saying but I'm gonna roll with it this stuff is phenomenal oh, oh. And I'm so glad that Brittany Lee Saunders introduced me to this and said go buy it it's so much like the uh, the MAC one and I tried it and she was right and I haven't gone back to the MAC one since this one for some reason just doesn't look as cakey as the MAC one but it just gives you the same amount of coverage like you can't even tell this powder is on your face it doesn't make you powdery if you were to put a shit ton on I guess you would cake up but if you are like I don't know putting it on like a I don't want to say a normal person because then it makes other people not normal but like if you're putting this on appropriately it does not cake up with like a liquid foundation I'm wearing it today also I think I'm wearing nearly everything <laughs> everything in this video on my face <laughs> but oh I just can't even this is such a nice powder it's got a little bit of like a lemony smell to it. Well, mine does anyway. Um, they just released this new packaging. I'm not too sure if I like this plastic. It's like, sort of like they followed MAC again because MAC has done this too. So is Australis trying to, you know, go and get you some. Next power face thing I have is my Chi Chi Wall of, Natural Wall of Shimmer. Now, story time with this one. I have walked past this thing multiple times in Farmers and I've just been like, eh, it's probably not that good. Because eh. you just think, when I think of shimmers at the drugstore, which is so bad, I always think, oh, they can't be that good. Like, mm. you know, it'll probably be chunky, it'll be glittery. Or I thought it just would be overly dark to use as my highlight. I'm using it right now. Can you see old at shimmer on my face I'm looking at myself in the viewfinder and I'm looking glowy as hell and I'm loving it but this is the Chi Chi natural wall of shimmer I'll do a swatch this is I don't know if you can see that's making you maybe that will help you buy it if you haven't already got it which if you watch Shanix show which can you see that oh my god that's gorgeous Shan from Shanix so like everybody knows she did a video and she said that this is so much like the Bobbi Brown shimmer brick and snap I was actually going to be purchasing this like a couple of days after that video. Not this but the Bobbi Brown one and when she said that this was very very similar I was like well if Shan says it is then it must be true and this thing is amazing. I am finding myself I use this like all the time on top of my cheekbones I use it on my clients everybody loves it I love it so you're gonna love it obviously so you should probably get this too that's if you haven't already got it and the packaging is gorgeous but oh those fingerprints oh you can see at my window this is my house next face thing so like I said I watched the Shannon video and I got the Chi Chi thing but I was going, there was nothing stopping me getting this bronzer and it is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Colour Golden Light. Now I took me a while to be able to find the colour that I felt wouldn't look disgusting on me. I actually don't have this one on me, on my face at the moment but this bronzer is so nice. I This is the perfect contour colour for me. I don't necessarily like using it for bronzing all over my face as of yet because it does make me look a little bit muddy I don't know why if I use it as a bronzer all over but for contour this is amazing this is it here it's like it's light but when I use it on my as a contour it's so dark so pigmented and it just really helps to define my face because I have a very undefinable face especially cheekbone wise and yeah I absolutely love this. 
only thing I hate is the fact my packaging broke and I don't know if anybody else has had this but that little thing there, the spring inside has must have broken because it won't shut and so I'm terrified that it's going to smash and go everywhere. So this I treat like a baby. Next face product is this blush. This blush is amazing. Um, Brittany Lee Saunders did a haul a while back with a sleek blush and I can't remember what colour she got but it was like a really deep whiny, like a ready whiny colour. If you're watching this Brittany, which I don't know if you will, but anybody pass it on to her, this blush is gorgeous. It is so nice. I haven't even told you the name. This blush is called Antique, and it's just this colour there. Can you see that? I'm not even sure. This colour is so... It looks really dark and I'm really off-putting in the pan. Can you even see that? I don't even know. But it looks very off-putting and dark in the pan. But when you put it on your face, I'm wearing it actually on the cheeks right now. It just gives a really nice, warm, sort of plummy flush to your cheeks, which goes amazingly with a warm eye and a dark lip. I find if I'm wearing a dark lip and I don't know what um and I don't know what shade to wear on my cheeks, I will wear this blush. And it just goes amazingly with them and it just blends so nice into your bronzer and your contour and I just can't even. It does have a bit of shimmer on it, but it doesn't chop on my face, so. But yeah, this is an antique. And sleek blushes are a steal. Like, go and get you some. So, the last face thing I have. Um, this is the Collections Concealer, and I am in color Cool Medium 2. This is the best concealer on the drugstore, in my opinion. It's so creamy, so pigmented. Gives me full coverage, really brightens up my under eye. I'm wearing this as well, and it doesn't crease on me. And that's a big thing because drugstore concealers just go like a hot mess under my eyes because I got some, I say wrinkles, but people say lines. And this is the only thing that, like it creases the tiniest bit. Like, I'm not going to say it's creaseless. It creases the tiniest bit, but it doesn't make me look like disgusting. So this is a definite yes. Next item is an eyeshadow and I haven't got a Z palette yet for it but I am. I um, got these as a gift from my friend Rachel um, for my 20 I oh, just forgot my age I turned for my 21st birthday this is the colour Chickadee from Makeup Geek and I put this bad boy in my crease anytime I can get. This is a new typical colour that people would reach for on the website. They'd probably look at it and be like hmm this one right here it's like an orange it's like an orangey color but it's not like a vibrant orange or anything it's a very like mutity kind of I'd say spew orange <laughs> but this color is gorgeous this is an amazing shade to put in your crease and blend it out blow it out real big like I've got it today it just adds so much warmth to any look like if you're doing a like a takes like a normal brown smoky eye just to that next level and I freaking love it. Last thing for makeup beauty sort of thing are these eyelashes. Now they've got a different pair in them because I lost the box to them but I am wearing this pair on my eyes right now and they are my favourite so I'm probably going to be buying seven or ten pairs of this one thing just for this when you're doing like want to wear eyelashes but you don't want something crazy dramatic we'll probably be going for these these are the soulmate they've got a mix of black and brown little wee eyelashes in them so it makes them really natural really flirty i have them on right now if i didn't already say i love these and i love the exo beauty brand in general her lashes are just amazing they are so easy to apply that's the one thing that I think it's amazing about them. If you are a beginner with lashes, I would totally recommend these. I would also recommend these to beginners because these are like $5.99 or $6.99 or something. And so my last item in my favourites for this month in September, I think it's the first time I've actually said for September, but um, is my Maybelline New York Clean Express Makeup Remover. And this is the whole separation, shake it up, 
to use it deal. Um, this is Ultra Gentle Express Removes Even Waterproof Mascara. Oil free, waterproof eye makeup remover. And it's also in a different language. And you just shake it to activate it, the dual formula. Um, this is amazing. I have been filming a ton of special effects, Halloween makeup, and this is amazing to get all the shit off my face that I've been putting on. I've had latex on my face, paint, I've had mascara, glitter, I've had foil, I've had sticky lip gloss on my face, fake blood, scab blood. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so good. Another thing that I have been using for skincare is my Purity from Philosophy Made Simple Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. This stuff smells amazing. This is a new bottle. Thanks, Mum. Oh, I can't get over the smell. It's just so fresh and this just gets everything off my face. Whatever I have on, this is amazing. I use this at night time because I like to use something very soothing and fresh. The scent of this draws me to use it at night time more because it's just really calming and fresh and I just love the way how it feels gentle but it gets everything off. Because it says how it's so simple, I think that's just what's really good about it. Like, you get so caught up in all this shit of people trying to sell you that it's anti-aging, and it's pore decreasing, and it's this, and it's anti-this, and it's gonna make your skin turn into gold. But, like, just something simple just to wash your face at night. And personally, for me, at night now, I like to keep my shit as simple as possible because it's... Sometimes I don't like to wash my face, but... When I do, this is my baby. This is who I call to. This is my booty call. Give this a video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below any suggestions that you have for videos coming up. Um, I'm so excited for my Halloween tutorials to be coming. I have tried so, so, so hard on creating content content that was visually entertaining for you guys. So a couple of the videos I like sort of short films at the start because I was very inspired by um, Made, you Look, Made You Look by Lex and um, all them sort of and Nicole Guerrero how they really get into character Made You Look by Lex really like creates a intro, intro that's very like pulls you in and it is quite spooky and scary so they are coming up soon I have my trailer coming up and that I will link that down in the description box if you want to see that um I put together it's like a wee trailer showing all my different looks and it's in a very like um Hollywood style movie trailer so it looks like an actual movie and it's got the credits and everything like that so go and check that out and let me know what you guys think I really enjoyed making all that stuff and yeah also down below is everything that's listed here along with links to take you to websites to where you can find them and pick them up also make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you want to see more exciting things I have coming out like my Halloween tutorials so that they will just pop up automatically in your subscription they will just pop up automatically in your subscription box the subscribe button is like here or down here or something where my face is down there with my name there should be a wee subscribe button down below so I don't think I have anything else to say. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a fabulous night or morning or day, wherever you are. And I'll see you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.